Let's take a quick look at the formation of soils and soil horizons, or layers. Let's jump right in. Soil formation actually begins with rock. Most of the Earth's crust is composed of solid bedrock, and when that bedrock is exposed at the surface, the process of weathering begins. And all that means is that rain and snow and ice is going to begin to break that solid rock down into smaller pieces called sediments. Now, as that happens, simple plant life will begin to take root in the form of mosses and lichens that live right on the surface of the rock and the sediment. And those organisms will creep into cracks and start to break apart the rock further, as well as adding organic material into the mix. Of course, this will take many, many generations to happen, but it will eventually result in a thin layer of organic matter on the surface. And that's important because that organic matter will allow larger and more complex plants to take root. And once this process begins, it really is kind of like a runaway train where more and more organic matter is able to accumulate on top of that bedrock as more of the leaves fall to the ground and decompose as organisms take root and we begin to see a thriving plant environment. Over time, we will get deeper and deeper rooted plants, which will further break down the rock beneath the soil, as well as adding more and more organic matter to the surface, ultimately resulting in a well-developed soil. Now, scientists will classify the horizons or layers of the soil based on what they're made up of. So if we take a closer look here, Starting at the bottom, we have that initial solid bedrock, and we call that the R layer. That tends to be impermeable, which means water is not going to be able to pass through it after seeping through the ground. Above that, we have a combination of weathered rock and some of that earliest organic matter. We call it the C layer or the substratum. Above that, we have our subsoil, and this is essentially a mix of weathered rock material and organic matter. And this is also where the deeper roots will exist. Above that B level, we have the A layer, which is known as the surface soil or topsoil. And this is increasingly rich organic soil that we find shallow beneath the surface. And at the top, we have the O layer, which stands for organic, and this is the region that is primarily composed of entirely organic matter, so dead and decaying plant life, leaves and rotting tree stumps and other organic matter that accumulates. This is the richest layer of soil, and it enables complex life to exist up on the surface. Thanks for watching.